Hello! What's going on everybody? It's Easy Victus here with another video for all of your animated show and movie related needs. Today, my peeps, we'll be discussing which bending style in Avatar The Last Airbender is the most powerful and exactly why. Everyone, I want to dive right into this video, so let's go ahead and get it going, shall we? Everything you're about to hear is strictly my opinion, and I urge you to tell me which bending style you think is the most powerful in the comment section down below. Also, if you haven't checked out my related video where I discuss the most powerful elements, then do that now. As you can see how my opinion on the most powerful element has changed as I've dived deeper into the world of Avatar, Korra, etc. With that said, let's get it going. So the very definition of the word powerful is having great power or strength, making that the bending style I choose will exhibit both of these attributes more so than others. It stands up on its own in these categories and is such a powerful tool to anyone that can wield it. It is also the element that in my opinion is due for a power up. As we've seen throughout the last Airbender and Legend of Korra series, there are many abilities that accompany each bending style. For water, it's the ability to heal and blood bend. Fire is lightning bending, combustion bending, and lightning redirection. Earth is metal bending and lava bending, but for air there has been nothing given. And this is in no way a hindrance on the element of air whatsoever. I believe air to be the supreme element and the most powerful bending style and I'll tell you exactly why. There is air, or aka oxygen, wherever you are in the world. Therefore, making air the most convenient style of bending. Even though there are many places with earth or water, it's not everywhere like air is. You could also argue that you could use fire anywhere, but it doesn't have nearly the amount of potential that air bending does. Also, also, unless you were to get yoinked into space by another bender, which I think is pretty unlikely, then you should be able to use your air bending. Other than air bending, being the most convenient, it also can redirect, stop, or completely halt another person's bending if used to its fullest potential. Air benders are fast, agile, and very hard to hit with any other type of bending. The element also has quite the offensive capability as well as defensive. We've seen in The Legend of Korra how truly powerful and strong an airbender can be that doesn't hold to the calm and peaceful ways of the air nomads which was Zaheer. He showed us that flight without a glider was possible, as well as taking air out from the lungs of someone, but this doesn't need to be the height of its power. There are still many more things that airbending could do. And let me just say again that we now know that airbenders can fly without a glider. Just hone yeah themselves into the sky and fly off. What do you do against that? If an airbender is just hanging out 30 meters above your head and chilling there, he or she could just wait for you to get bored and leave. It's just amazing that Legend of Korra did this. You can just Superman yourself away and that's pretty damn cool to me. Airbending can also cancel out every single other element, such as with blowing out and canceling a fire, or diverting a rock and throwing it back at the enemy, or creating an air shield and not letting water get through. Airbending has a way to turn every ability back on itself. Similar to waterbending, airbending focuses a lot on using your opponent's own power and strength against themselves. So you take the least amount of injury as possible, while hopefully stopping your enemy in the process. The main reason air is the most powerful bending style though is its ability to grow and manifest into so many other abilities. Airbending has not been dived into deep enough due to the 100 year lack of anyone who could airbend and the high amount of fully peaceful airbenders, which halts the ability for strength and power in it to grow. Whenever people stop pushing the boundaries, nothing new can come of the bending style. Let's talk about an alternate universe for a second. Say all airbenders all of a sudden just threw out their ideals of peace and love and just went out for blood. There's not one person who could stop them and their rampage. Airbenders are quick on their feet, decisive, and very good at countering. Team that up with their now not held back strength, they would pummel anybody, and airbenders offensive moveset is something scary to behold with their ability to literally pick up and throw someone out of battle with a tornado-like move is one of their scariest moves. Also, I don't know if I've said this yet, but airbending is fast. I mean lightning god diddly McQueen fast. Airbenders can retaliate the quickest out of any other element and never get hit. 
It's like us whenever we try to hit that one annoying fly and there is a no fly swatter around. So we just kind of keep trying to hit it with our hands and we keep missing. That's what fighting an airbender is like and it must be so aggravating. One moment they're here and then there and then oh my goodness, they're behind you and tapping on your shoulder. If anything, if you don't get smacked up by an airbender, you will definitely get aggravated after the fight. Like damn, I wish I was cool enough and fast like he or she was, like Jesus Christ. I talked about this before, but you can take the literal air from someone's lungs and have them suffocate. Like imagine going into a fight with someone and looking at them all excited and ready for the fight, but then, oh no, you can't breathe anymore. Now you're gasping, now you're on the ground, and you're probably dead now. Yep, that's really how quick that it would work. Honestly, the stuff that airbenders can do is godlike, and I stick by that. So, all in all, I believe that paired with their tremendous quickness, defensive and offensive abilities, as well as how convenient airbending is, that airbending is the most powerful element overall. I don't think any other element or its abilities can actually counter or defeat a fully realized and angry airbender. They just have too much that they can dish out. So everybody, how did you like my video? I mean, I did another video, as I said before, about the uh, strongest elements, and I have changed my opinion around like a 360, or no, 180, because 360 would be the same thing. No, 180. Yeah. So guys, uh, please subscribe to the channel right here by clicking my big old noggin and hit that freaking bell to get notified whenever I get another video out there every Tuesday and Fridays whenever I post, as well as right here, you'll see my um, video that is the most related to this one where I talk about the most strongest uh, benders and why. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.